Now, the South African Broadcasting Corporation has refuted claims by a Sunday newspaper that it plans to cut up to a third of its staff. The SABC maintains that the journalist doing the story inquired about 11 preconditions in relation to the SABC's application for funding to National Treasury, and there was no discussion around the issue of retrenchments. For more on the story, I'm joined on the line by SABC spokesperson Vuyo Mtembu. Very good evening to you, Vuyo. That article in the Sunday Times says it's seen a document purported the SABC's latest roadmap strategy, which talks about retrenchment um, involving and dissolving SABC sports and more. So it's not about what the journalist inquired about, but what they allegedly saw. Um, good evening, Dina. I must say that um, the SABC does not have any new plans to retrench staff or to start a retrenchment process. Uh, those figures um, which, may, which were which were articulated in the article, may have been contained in previous documentation in relation to the Section 89, 189 process, rather, which has been put in abeyance. A lot of our stakeholders do acknowledge the need for us to review the increase in costs, including staff costs, which is quite high, sitting at about 48%. However, we've decided to listen to our stakeholders, including organized labor and our employees, and that hence the decision to conduct a thorough skills audit and related activities. And that is what is currently happening in the organization. There's a skills audit which is currently uh, taking place. Mm -hmm. You've said as the SABC that you've requested space to deal with the funding issues without creating panic. People surely want to know how long will that process take and when will you be able to give more clarity on how you're going to be cutting costs? Well, the minister in her budget vote speech last week committed that the SABC would be granted some interim funding in the next 10 days. Uh, the, re the remainder of that funding, which would be available within 45 days. So um, at this stage, uh, we, I would really implore that we wait for the, for the minister's um, further announcement in this regard. For you, I'm sorry to go back to this issue, and it might be laboring the point, if you excuse the pun. Um, this, this thing of no new plans to retrench staff, perhaps it's semantics, but there was previously plans to retrench staff. Um, you've just spoken about that and saying you're putting um, that on hold. So you're not going to rely on your old plans to do a turnaround now. Yes, um, and this goes audit. The, out the outcome of that process will provide us uh, with a fit for process structure, which will have clearly defined spans of control, looking at the appropriate levels of management as well as the appropriate skills within the organization. And this process as well, it, it includes organized labor as well as staff. So um, it, I wouldn't say that, um, <coughs> excuse me, that the retrenchment is taking place. Like I stated before, we do not have plans to retrench staff. Thanks so much for your time tonight on The Full View. SABC spokesperson Vuyo Mtembo joining us on the line. It's